One of the first things we must do is make sure that the engine of course is turned off and the spark plug wire is removed from the spark plug because we don't want any accidental starting of the engine during the procedure. And the next thing I would do is locate the valve cover. This one, of course, has been removed so that we can seal the components. But once you've located the valve cover, remove the valve cover. This will expose the tappets and the valve springs. The next thing I would do is to identify which one of these tappets operates the exhaust valve and which one operates the inlet valve. And the way I would do that on this particular engine is if we can see we've got the exhaust here and we could imagine that we've got the exhaust port coming this way and it goes to this valve here we can see that so i would say that this is the exhaust rocker arm and if we look here we've got the carburetor if we follow that through we've got this here which looks like the inlet tube and that's closest to this valve. So this would be the tappet or the rocker arm for the inlet. But of course, all engines are different and I can only go by the one I've got in front of me. So if you take a good look at your cylinder head and all of these ports coming in and out, you can generally make a good assumption as to which is which. Okay, so now we know this is the exhaust and this is the inlet. What we need to do is have the piston at top dead center, its uppermost point, on the compression stroke because if it's on the compression stroke then both valves should be completely closed to keep in the combustion pressure so with the valves being totally closed in there we can look at setting the right gap for the tappets so how do we make sure that the piston is at top dead center on the power stroke of course on this cutout we can see that the piston is at top dead center but how do we know it's on the power stroke? Well, what I would personally do is remove the spark plug completely. And that will now allow us to look down into the plug hole to see if we can see the top of the piston and it will remove the compression to allow us to turn over the engine freely, which is what we need to do. So to make it simple, I just turn the flywheel until I can see the inlet rocker arm move. So there. Now the inlet rocker arm has gone down at the front. I know I'm now on the induction stroke because the inlet valve is now open. So I keep going until this now comes up. So I now know that the inlet valve now is closed. And I now know that the next stroke is the compression stroke. So I keep turning and at the same time I look down in through the spark plug hole to see if I can see the top of the piston rising towards me. And if that's the case, all well and good. I just watch the piston rise to its highest point and then stop. If I've gone too far, I just come back a little. And now I know that the piston is at top dead centre on the compression stroke, exactly where I want it to be. But however, I am aware that you can't always see down the spark plug hole to see the top of the piston. So in this situation, I use something long and thin enough to very gently place down in through the spark plug hole and rest on top of the piston, making sure no damage is occurring. This is an old punch I sometimes use. And so I loosely hold this here and turn the flywheel more so that the piston raises and also raises the punch with it. And I wait until the punch doesn't raise any more and it starts to go down. Then I come back with the flywheel and just get it so that the punch is at its highest point. Then I know that the piston is at top dead centre. Now we're in a position to set these tappets. OK, so everything is in the right position to make the settings. Now we take a set of feeler gauges and use the appropriate size as specified by the engine's manufacturer. Sometimes the clearances for the exhaust and the inlet, sometimes they're slightly different from each other. 
so we slide in the appropriate sized feeler gauge between the front of the rocker arm and the valve stem and we make sure that there's a gap there. With this one I can feel that there's too much gap because what you want it to do is feel like it's very slight pinch on there when you move it. So with this one I'm just going to adjust the top, just turn it until there. That there, there's just a very slight pinch and you can hear it as it goes in and out, just very slightly. That one's now set. Now to this one, you can see there's too much gap there again. So we'll just screw it in to tighten it slightly. And with that one, that's now absolutely fine as well. It's just pinching slightly. I can feel both the upper and lower parts just very slightly biting on those feeler gauges, but it's still free. Okay, so that's the tappet set. The actual adjusting the tappets is probably the easier part. The more tricky part is getting everything in the right position in order to set those tappets. Okay, so I hope I've given you enough information there. And if you think this video is worthy of a thumbs up, then please do give me one. It helps me get my content out there further to a larger audience and it really helps me out. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.